Hello guys, welcome to my first ever career mode in FIFA 22 and today we'll be starting a career mode in Newcastle and we, since they've had a financial takeover with the Saudi Arabian um, I don't know how you say it. Oil money Yeah, so they've got oil money and we, we'll be given them 1 billion pounds and we're going to to be trying to make them uh, get into glory and this is a five season career mode and we're going to be trying to create the, uh, try to make them our end target is to try and make them um, win the Premier League become the best play, uh, best team in England and also in Europe so first of all we're going to be allowed to buy players in our second transfer window so we're not allowed to buy any players in the august transfer window but in the january transfer window we're allowed to buy players who are under 81 rated so uh, if we, we're only allowed to buy one player who's over 80 in the first season and that's it because if we buy players over 80 then that'll make our team to OP and I want it to be more realistic because as you guys know in the thing first of all though we're only allowed to sign Kieran Trippier because he uh, joined to uh, Newcastle in the January transfer window and yeah we've signed Newcastle's first signing Kieran Trippier for a fee of around 35 million and we've agreed a 75,000 weekly wage and Kieran Trippier is now back at England okay so this is how our squad will look until the end of the uh, uh, until the beginning of the ja January transfer window and we're gonna have to try to win as many games as possible and now over to the objectives so these are our three objectives so the first objective is youth investment and you have forfeits as well and so we have to promote three youth academy players in season one if we don't then we have to sell two players using Siri or a random number generator number uh, two is a goal income which means that we'll, we have to score 30 goals with any two players combined the fourth it is that if we can't score 30 goals with two players combined then we have to sell out the top scorer so we have another the last one the uh, last objective is home advantage and we have to win 15 games at home and if we don't then we have to sell the player of the season the pl uh, at the end of the season and this is our long term one so we have to do youth development again and we have to make sure that two of the two of the three youth academy players have to be in the first XI first 11 by season 4 and forfeit in season 5 is play 5 matches with the worst possible XI in season 5 so every season we're going to be tracking these stats over here number 2 goal machinery scores 75 goals with and a single player by the end of the fourth season um, and then uh, if we don't do that in season 5 we have to play with no striker for 5 matches in season 5 just like Man City Legends remembered have at least one player in starting 11 from season 1 in season 5 uh, forfeit is get relegated I don't know how I'm going to do that but yep these are objectives well I was about to have my poll up but then I just see this and since he is valued at 2.2 million i think i'll agree for this and we need because we have a million center backs and when i mean center a million i mean six which is a lot and we only need three or four so we're going to be selling Paul Dummett to psv we get loan offer for our third choice goalie and i've also accepted that Oh, which team? Aberdeen and yet yeah, we're going to be trying to loan him out so Paul Dummett has been sold for 2.2 million pounds to PSV and therefore we have 1.7 million 
which I don't think will really affect us because we're not going to be buying anymore. So we've got two offers for Gale and um, one's from Stuttgart and one is from Celta Vigo. So I'm going to accept both of them because he is our third choice striker and I don't think we will be really using him. I've accepted an offer of 4.25 uh, million pounds of our original right back, Manjilo, I think that's what it said, and I've accepted it. And also, Gale has been sold and Langley, our third choice goalie, has been loaned out and yeah, um, and that's it. Mankilo has now been sold for 4 million and we get a decent amount for him and yeah. I've just negotiated, uh, oh my days, what? Uh, so uh, if this deal goes through then we have to buy a striker and I've literally broken the rule and yeah. So 20.9 million, it was so tempting and I just did it as well. So. Sorry, pun. So we're going to be signing a striker, and I have someone in mind. Wilson has been sold, and we are left with no striker. However, we are going to be signing and doing making an emergency signing right now. Julian Alvarez from River Plate will be our first signing and the rest of this short list is some of the players that we would like to sign in January. So this this is what we are offering Julian Alvarez 40k per week 400,000 as a signing bonus and also a goal bonus where he scores 20 goals and gets 1.5 1.5 million pounds and he's also here for five whole seasons so I think he will be the player that I would like to have as a season five player and I'm going to put him on, um, on a mobile striker to get that skill Oh no, actually get the week for up first of all. So complete striker is what we're going to be trying to train him as. And so we've made our first actual signing with Julian Alvarez as our first signing. So two players here, Hendrik and Joel Linton. Joel Linton's gone to Porto and Jeff Hendrik has gone to Crystal Palace. And those are two sales from us this season. Another player that's gone is Clark, and I think he was like our fourth choice centre back, so I don't really mind. Our first match of the season is against West Ham, and I'm going to be playing this game out, and I think I'll go with my strongest 11 again. Yeah, we're going to play in West Ham right now, and let's get started. Uh, this is a squad that I have to get used to now, and it might be really hard. We're playing good so far, I think. Uh, even though it's only been a minute, we've taken the ball with me, which isn't something I would have expected. Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism. And this John Joe Shelby, oh wow, come on, to keep the ball. I'm definitely going to be replacing John Joe Shelby because he is kind of old and uh, yeah, I, I don't think we really need him on that maximum. Oh, that was so close. Oh my days. Wait, why did I do presumptions? I didn't mean to. So it's a corner, and I have a tactic here. Short corner. And short it is. And 
Oh. Get it back. I didn't mean to pass it down there. Who's oh, that just tumbling on the floor? I'm around. I'm the ball. Oh, uh, oh wow. He didn't even time the header right, let alone get the header. Chandra, shall we? We lock. Shoot! Oh my days, what a ball from Joe Willock. Joe Willock is going to be my favourite player here, but how did. Uh, what was his name? Alvarez missed this. Oh my days. Oh, that was really close.